Hello and welcome back to Lumen Weekly. Um, there is a lot of stuff to cover this week, so I'm not going to spend too much time talking before that. I'm going to jump straight into the answers. Uh, firstly, the washing machine is going on over there again, so that's going to make a noise, and Helene is busy doing Zulaman over here, so that might make a noise too, but that's fine. Um, it's all good. So, we're going to start with, I've got a few general, just normal questions that you guys asked. Pretty interesting stuff. But let me actually just say first, I'm busy making the next one minute guide for any of you that were wondering. It does, it's going to take a little bit of time to get it done. Um, I can't give you a, like a set time on when I'm going to get it out. I'm looking at doing a 6 racks for Terran. It's the same as the 7 racks that that little one, TLO, the little one, did at Dreamhack I think. Pretty good build, it's been around for a while. Um, and I think a lot of people don't really know about it. So I thought I'd do something that would be a bit more interesting. It's very useful to know. If you can do it properly, it, it can really help. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about that. I'm busy with that. It's all good. Um, otherwise, I recorded a vlog the, uh, yesterday and it was upside down. Because silly me, I don't know how to hold the iPhone right. But anyway, I'll, I'll do a vlog soon as well. So, um, firstly, just the normal questions. Divine asked, do you have any favorite FPS games? I do. Uh, so far, like, okay, well, obviously I like the whole Half-Life series. Half-Life 1 was like probably my favorite game uh, back when it came out a long time ago. It was a long time ago, yes. And I had such a bad PC that I had to play it on software mode, um, 400 by 300. That was the resolution I played on and it was it was pretty horrifying. But at the same time, I mean, it was really good at the time. I didn't really even care about how it looked. Um, obviously, I love Quake. Quake 3. Um, the other Quakes were great as well, obviously, but Quake 3 was just amazing multiplayer. So those are probably the biggest ones. The Half-Life series, Quake, I mean I'm obviously enjoying Portal and stuff like that. Um, really keen for Rage coming out soon. I don't know. There's a bug flying around here. Anyway, but yeah, so there's, I've got a few favorites. Quake is probably my number one though. For multiplayer. Anyway, okay. Um, Sad Car Car 313 asked, not sure if anyone's asked this. Yes they have. Um, why did you start this Awesome YouTube channel, thank you. Um, did you just wake up one day and say, "Ah oh, man, I want to be famous? Not quite. Um, the short answer is just, I started this during the StarCraft 2 beta, and I'm not going to say beta. I say beta. It just didn't sound right. Getting a lot of flack for that recently. Anyway, so I started it during the beta, and I just wanted to cover news. It was actually started off by, by just being for StarCraft Pulse. Okay, you can check the first episodes out if you go way back in the channel's history. Um, and I started it just for StarCraft news and to like cover the local scene here in South Africa and stuff. And then it just sort of expanded from there. And the commentaries and stuff sort of just came after that. I don't know, it was, it was just a lot of fun and I enjoyed doing it and I sort of carried on with it. Um, then, so that's just a quick answer of that. You can check the previous Lumen Weeklies. I think in pretty much every single one I answer that question. Anyway, I'm going to try and move through them pretty quickly because there are a ton of things to cover here. MMA Tomas asks, Are you and Eileen ever going to tie the knot and make some babies? Mrs. Lu... Eileen is scoffing back there. Okay, Mrs. Lumen has a nice ring to it. Um, yes, most probably. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say. Yes. But... I don't know when. Okay, it's just... We're not in a hurry. Okay, it's not going to... Not going to have an effect. It doesn't matter when it happens, but it will. Then from Robocop the Jedi, uh, question for this week, if you had a portal gun and you could only make two portals anywhere in the world, where would they be and why? I don't know, I didn't really give this very much thought, but I'd say I'd put one like here, where I live. <laughs> um, if I lived somewhere else, obviously I'd put one there too. And then I'd say like, there are a couple of choices, I'd say you could go the whole, um, safety route and put someone, one like somewhere really safe and then you can just escape to there but I don't want to do that. I'd say somewhere like Hawaii would be amazing or some like tropical rainforest somewhere. Maybe somewhere in the east. I'd like to go to Japan regularly but yeah like maybe Japan that sounds really cool or like in some country like Korea, Singapore. Um, 
I don't know, somewhere like slightly different than here where I could go just on a quick holiday. I'm so, I said Hawaii because that would be amazing, just jumping through a portal and landing on the beach in Hawaii. But the portal would actually have to be somewhere pretty safe because like away from where people could see it. Or I'd have to put a really big door and lock on there because I don't want no sort of strangers coming in here whenever they feel like it. Okay, so very interesting question. Um, I need to hire you to do my questions anyway. So Baal15 asks, um, that's Baal, B-A-R-L, not Baal. Any, what age did you leave? Uh, what age did you leave education? And if you have any higher education, what subjects did you take? Uh, the subject I finished high school. I'm asking. I'm assuming you meant high school, or if does higher education mean uh, university, college, stuff like that? If that's what it means, I did a couple of random courses after school. But anyway, for school, I, I was done when I was 17 and I took really boring subjects. I had English, Afrikaans, Maths, Geography and Development Studies. That's it. I didn't, have, I didn't even have History. I didn't have any of the other stuff. That was pretty much all I had. Um, I actually remember having hotel management somewhere in there or something like that. But that was only for a little while. I did homeschooling, if you're wondering, and yeah, that's about it. Those were, those were, I mean, I, I pretty much just took subjects that I felt were easy to do, so I just wanted to get it done. Um, then Nepal also suggested that I just use one question of the every week, like or one topic every week, and he's probably right. Okay, he's pro I'm, I'm most likely going to do something like that. And then next up from the Gryos, he he just said. Nero's getting angry. He just said that he had a bit of snow. I think that's in Sweden in May. And um, I would personally love some snow here. It's not going to happen though. And then once again, the last thing is just from Zizazira Tool. From Bul uh, greetings from Bulgaria, or he's from Bulgaria, or I'm not really sure what he was trying to say, but um, he said it. Okay. So then the the questions that I asked you, I'm going to be looking over here a lot now because the questions I've written down the question. Uh, Pasted them here. So about first, I asked about the internet changes in the U.S. and then MMO Tomar said um, he's not the most tech savvy person, but so he doesn't know how much he uses per month. But he he guesses it would have to, it would suck to to have to pay for it. But then again, ten dollars isn't that much, so he'd get over it pretty quickly. And I think a lot of people feel like that. It's like a, there was a big shock and outrage when it first got announced, and then there was sort of like, huh, ten dollars? That's not actually so bad for a hundred gigs. I think that's okay. Then from Carl Bleming, um, he's in the US and he gets his, his internet through TV cable, combined service with high speed internet, that's like probably what most of the people have there. Um, he says it costs about $160 a month, That must be you must get a lot of channels and stuff with that too, right? It's pretty impressive, I would love something like that. Anyway, so um, he says uh, he'd be okay with paying for bandwidth, but it would be nice if the price was a bit lower. So I, I was sort of also, I mean I can totally get that. It's actually something in this day and age they should be making their money elsewhere, not from the bandwidth. Anyway, then from Zeischill, I think I'm saying the nickname right, Zeischill. Uh, he said it would be a lot better to pay that much for internet because he's playing. He's paying twelve dollars right now for really bad internet. I would pay ten dollars for really good internet any day. Then lastly, for this question from Willie Ireland one. Um, he's not in the US, but if that came uh, over to where, where he was, he'd be pretty upset. Um, especially if they carry on the traffic shaping for his torrents and uh, and for the bandwidth he's already paying for. That is like totally understandable as well. Because I think that um, if you're paying for the bandwidth and they shape you and slow it down, which they do a lot of here, then um, here in South Africa, then I f that's just sort of unacceptable if you ask me. Anyway, they do it anyway though. Okay, so for the PSN questions, the PlayStation Network thing, a lot of people actually replied about this, funny enough, a lot of you guys spend some time on the PSN. Streamzone says that he can't play Portal 2 or uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood online, which pretty much sucks. Yes. Um, then DCUO Puppet Master says that he doesn't really care about the fact that the PSN is down, but apparently Sony, which I didn't know, he says that they took down the online PC, PC Note, I'm saying PC games too, and that does suck. I mean, there are lots of Sony Online Entertainment games, and if they're all down, I didn't know they were all down. If they were all down during this time, that would be so terrible. Anyway, MMO Tomas says um, he thought it was pretty funny, and I sort of, I think a lot of people did. Um, he does have a PS3, but he doesn't have an account, so 
Uh, he, he does have a count, but there's nothing worth stealing on there. Uh, it's actually the same for me. I've got like three accounts, and there's nothing worth stealing on any of them. Then again, from Zeiss Chill, um, Xbox Live for the win. That's what he says. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, Xbox Live seems to be having a slightly less problems at the moment, but that's just at the moment. I'm a, I'm a PlayStation fanboy, though. Okay, and then Overlord 3000, the PSN change, he says, doesn't really affect him. He doesn't play games online, but if he had PSN Plus, it would be pretty irritating. Now the interesting part, the games people, all of you guys are looking forward to, and this is actually pretty interesting because there's a lot of games here that I saw and I thought, wow, I didn't include this in my list and I don't even know why because some of these are really good. So KK Plick says he's looking forward to Heart of the Swarm and Diablo 3, obviously, um, but at the moment he's quite busy with Mass Effect and League of Legends, which he says is much better than Han. Mm, not sure about that one. I won't complain though. Whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Okay, so Aggie93. He says he's looking forward to Battlefield 3. A lot of there's a lot of Battlefield 3. Yeah, I'll just warn you guys now. And in stream zones, one thing he said here. Yeah, okay, he says Infamous 2, Uncharted 3. Yes, please. I'm looking forward to that. Although I haven't finished Uncharted 1 or 2 yet. I've got them on PlayStation. They're on the shelf over there. And I started Uncharted 1. It's a good game. Let me. I'll talk about that in a vlog or something. Okay, I'm not going to talk about Uncharted 1 now. Um, but yes, looking forward to those. And then he says the slim chance of Beyond Good and Evil 2. And I'm totally keen for that. I would love it. You know what I'm just hoping for is that they don't make it only on consoles. We'll have to see about that though. Then Divine says Mass Effect 3, Duke Nukem, and once again Battlefield 3. Good choices. Then Genarco, um, he's looking for, forward to the most in the near future is From Dust. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Um... It's a very interesting looking game, but to me it had this populous feel about it. Uh, it's It looks pretty cool. They've got a nice Facebook group, you can search for From Dust on Facebook and you can check the game out there. And then he says, uh, besides that, the obligatory Skyrim, Ray, Skyrim, Skyrim, Rage, First Templar and Mass Effect 3. All those looking amazing. Like, uh, Rage and Mass Effect 3... Uh, and um, Rage and First Templar, sorry, I didn't really have that in my list, and I gotta say, or did I have it in my list? But they were really good. I mean, they're looking really good at least. Um, let's see. Prozerg SC says, looking forward to Portal 2, which is already out, which is great. Um, amazing game. Then, uh, Sad Car Car 313, Battlefield 3, he says. MMA Tomar says, Diablo 3 and Skyrim, good choices. Uh, Robocop the Jedi. He's excited for Skyrim, Battlefield, Zelda, uh, the, the new Zelda, which is Ocarina of Time, that's for the 3DS, um, and obviously Diablo 3 if, if they release it this year, which, who knows. Um, then Jenny11 says, Outland on the PSN, fun, innovative platformer, but it's on the PSN so he can't buy it now, and Rage, Duke, and The Old Republic. Quite a few people saying uh, Duke as well, obviously, and Rage is there quite a few times. Um, I checked out Outland and it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like fun. I got an email. Hmm, should we check who it's from? I think we should. A comment posted on Darksport Tutorial Editor. Okay, not gonna read that now though. Um, then, from Thrasher778. Battlefield 3 and whichever new or next Call of Duty game comes out. Uh, I suppose Call of Duty is not my thing, but the games are always really good. Then Overlord 3000, Dota 2, that's one that sort of went under the radar. I totally forgot about that, that's just because they're not talking about it enough. Uh, Desigia 4 for the PS3. Good choices again. Desigia is a pretty cool series. I, don't, I haven't played it much, but I do know it's nice. Uh, a lot of fun. Willy Ireland says... Um, he can't wait for the new Nintendogs. It's going to change his gaming, totally change his gaming. So that's a bit of sarcasm for you there, I think. I don't think he's serious with Nintendogs. Although, Nintendogs, whatever. If that's, if that's your thing, cool. The Gryos, he says, D3, Mountain Blade, uh, with Fire and Sword, I think that's the, just what it's called. Um, then the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim, and hopefully Heart of the Swarm. I don't think that's coming out this year, but it's probably better to get our hopes up instead. So then for the Heart of the Swarm related questions, I asked what would you ask the developers if you had a chance? Um, Prozerg SC, would, he wants to know about the multiplayer, which is a good question. He wants to know what you knew, you're not so coming, um, and if it's going to change the game a huge amount. 
It's, I think that's probably one of the questions a lot of people are asking or want to know about. Sadly, this, this press event that's coming up at, at the end of the month is like not going to be covering multiplayer. They've said that like explicitly, we're not going to look at multiplayer stuff. Um, but still, you could get a look at the new units there. Then, um, Zeiss Chill, will they nerf Terrans? Now that's a question I think all the Zergs and Protoss want to know out there. Uh, Jenny 11 asks, um, what way the expansion will once again ex affect the multiplayer? New units, abilities, um, or maybe they won't change it much. He asks, he says, maybe they'll keep it balanced. It's quite possible. I mean, who knows? I do think they'll add new units to multiplayer though. Borrel is back and he is saying um, a number of things. Main question is uh, new units once again and how they'll be introduced. That's also a good question. You know, if the lurker just suddenly appears, why did it appear? And then tying in with that, Willie Ireland asks, will lurkers be coming back? That is like, again, that's probably every Zerg out there's question because lurkers would be so amazing. I'm not sure how they'd work with lurkers plus spine crawlers. You know, I think it might be a bit overkill, but it's not really, they, they fill different roles, sort of. So we'll see. Sort of like a Zerg siege unit. <clears throat> then bottled water is good. Will Minsk die? He's quite a pain in the ass, he says. Now that is a good question. If you if you take what we saw in that in that leaked ending, which a lot of people are saying is fake, and a lot of people are saying could be real, then Minx will die. But we can't say for sure. Then pets. So first I'm just gonna look at the pet the like the answers you guys gave me, and then I'm gonna at the end just show you the pictures that or I'll just do it while I'm talking about it, who knows? Some of the photos you guys sent me are like absolutely huge and some are like really small, so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them. But anyway. So Aggie93 says, no pets except his wow pets. Sad face. Those count as pets though, don't they? Stream Zones, he used to have a chubby hamster called Dumbo. That's cute. Dumbo is a very cute name. Then Prozerg SC says he has two dogs, one Labrador Cross Retriever and the other one a Bouvier. I'm not sure what that is actually. Maybe I'll Google it. Um, and he also has two Senegal parrots and some chickens. It's a bunch of pets. Must be a real animal lover there. So, bottled water is good. I do have a pet, he says. A wee turtle named Tess. That is incredible. That just seems like the perfect name for a turtle. Anyway. But she's too camera shy. So that's sad, but at the same time cute. Willie Ireland. Yes, a small kitten. That is super awesome. That's nice. I'd love a photo of your small kitten. I think if I put that in this video, it'll be like 10 times more popular. Okay. The Gryos, um... He says he doesn't have any pets, but he'd like to hear the answers from all the other people that have pets. Then Ghost Hunter 30, he has Kishia. I think I hope I'm saying that right, Kishia. And oh, <laughs> I'm gonna put a picture of Kishia up here. Uh, she's too cute. Okay, I'm assuming it's a she. It might be a he, but um, it's like a cute, cuddly bear dog. It's really nice. Okay, then from Mr. Blonde. He says he's been extremely busy, but he hasn't forgotten about my great channel, or, and he's attached two random pics of his pups. So, um, this, this, but one is called Sunny, and the other one is called Chibi. And there are two amazing pictures here, one of them balancing treats on their noses, and the other of, um, what I assume is Chibi jumping into the lake. Very cute. And I'll, I'll add those pictures here, they're the small ones, okay, those are the small ones. Um, then KK Plix says, uh, well, he does have a pet to show off. Beware, Yoshi. Yes, Yoshi is incredibly cute as well. Um, Nero would just go crazy if he could see these pictures because he would love all these as friends. Um, he says that the dog's his name is uh, Yoshi's name is actually Joshua, but Yoshi just stuck because when he was young it sounded cuter, I suppose. <laughs> and he says that Yoshi's been with them for over ten years now. Um, after his first family he had to give him away because of an allergic reaction of one of the kids. Uh, he's 15 years old now and wow. I don't know when that photo was taken but looking good. Looking good for his age and he looks very very cute. Um, half Labrador, half hunting dog if any of you were wondering. Very 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 cute. And then another lastly just greetings from Switzerland. This is from KK Plex as well. And then I asked what you guys are doing this weekend? A lot of interesting questions here, uh, answers here. Well, not a lot, but a few. Ghost Hunter 30 said he took his mother to Arby's for Mother's Day. She wanted to go there. Oh, that's cute. I don't know Arby's. Maybe he meant Arby's. I don't know. But 
It's cute that you took your mother somewhere anyway. Uh, Stream Sound says he's downloading games to play via Steam. He said it was sounds boring, but that doesn't sound boring to me. There are so many nice games on Steam. I'm pretty sure you can find something really interesting to play. Aggie93 is playing League of Legends. Big surprise there. Um, because he was in fact the one that said it's better than Hon. Wasn't he? I don't know. But anyway, League of Legends sounds good. Um, Jenny is playing Mass Effect and Mass Effect 2. That's a good thing to do. I think if you play those DLCs, it'll prepare you for Mass Effect 3. It was cheap over the weekend, so he bought it. Um, and Ball says, man, his weekends are all the same. He doesn't have much time during the week. And on the weekends, he spends the time trying to get that promotion in StarCraft. That sounds like a lot of fun too, though. Uh, or just generally nerding it up. Good weekend, if you ask me. That's pretty much... No, I don't, I don't try to get that promotion, but I definitely nerded up all weekend long. And then the last one... Uh, Bottled Water is Good said he had a gaming weekend combined with studying. So that's StarCraft 2 and Latin. Nice combination. Okay. So that's about it. That's all the, the questions and answers and all that stuff that I had from you guys. And... Uh, oh, wow, I was making a noise. Anyway. So... What I'm going to do is, there might not be... There's probably not going to be a Lumen Weekly on this coming next weekend. Um, because I might not be here. But I'm going to have lots of other stuff coming up. The, the Pulse is all going to come up this week. It's going to be normal. Um, and who knows. But it'll only be with this one weekend right after that. The weekend after that, um, Lumen Weekly will be back. So I did think I'd just sort of tell you guys, don't expect Lumen Weekly on the weekend. If it does come up, then, then you're really lucky because then I found some time to get it in. But... Uh, yeah, so that's all I needed to say, really. So if it's not going to come out this coming weekend, but uh, I will try to get gameplay stuff up, and I'll sort of discuss it in a future vlog, some like a bit later in this week as well. Uh, other than that, that's about it. That's all I need to say. So we're going to head on over to the weekly challenge quickly, see what you guys said there. Um, I don't know, the, the, the screenshot I put in there this week was... I think bad by my uh, from me like it was a very difficult one and slightly generic like it looked like a lot of things and even the full thing even if you look at that you probably well a lot of you might not even know what it is but we'll have a look now so let's check out the weekly challenge here we go time to look at last week's challenge and oh no I won't present you the brave and fearless detectives with a fresh new clue this week but let's look at this past week's challenge anyway. As I just said, I think the screenshot might have been a little too generic this week. Who knows though. So what was the game? You guys guessed a lot of different, quite varied stuff. Divinity 2, Far Cry 2, Jack and Dexter 3, God of War, Vindictus, Halo 3, Final Fantasy 14, Bulletstorm, Darksiders, Ice Age, Portal 2, Borderlands and Shadow of Colossus. The right answer was in fact Aeon. Yes, this MMO was a pretty big deal when it launched, but sadly, it has since then not been receiving quite as much attention. Still though, you can read more about that below. So as I said last week, there was sadly no prize to give away this week, other than a huge thanks to all those that guessed and all those that commented on the video. Also, as I mentioned before, there probably won't be a Lumen Weekly next week, but that is okay. We will start off anew the week after that. All that said, remember you can still leave all your questions below. I will answer them textually, or just wait for the next Lumen Weekly. So that's okay. I hope you all had a great weekend. Most importantly though, happy waiting for the next bit of detectivizing. <laughs> <laughs>